All right. Thank you all for coming today to celebrate your success as National Art Honor Society inductees. I would like to begin by congratulating everyone on being nominated for the Haddonfield, New Jersey chapter of the National Arts Honor Society. In order to be nominated for those who are members to maintain and for those who are members to maintain their membership, students have been observed demonstrating the highest qualities of art, scholarship, character, and service, both inside and outside of the classroom. Upon nomination, students must complete at least five hours of community service related to the arts. These students have not only completed their service hours, they have also maintained an A average in their art classes and continue to uphold the standards that are required of an NAHS member. Our members' mission is to help strengthen our school community through experiences and the sharing of knowledge in the arts with each other and the student body as a whole. All members demonstrate a willingness and interest in doing this. Each year, the National Arts Honor Society publicly acknowledges a select number of high school students who have achieved this level of excellence. In exemplifying these qualities as a creative individual, each student has made a valuable contribution to their school, community, and society in a variety of ways. Today, I hope to highlight some of these contributions. Serving as treasurer my junior year and president this year, I am proud of all we have accomplished, especially considering these unprecedented times. Last year, student members increased awareness for the arts by participating in school-wide events like Winterfest. Our ugly sweater decorating event helped spread holiday cheer and creativity. Once the pandemic and subsequent lockdowns began, NAHS organized the first ever digital arts in the courtyard celebration. Finally, once determined that seniors would not be able to attend their normal graduations, current NAHS members created personalized farewell cards for the NAHS members from the class of 2020, a project which no doubt raised spirits. This year, we continued the tradition of service to the community, but had to do so in creative and COVID safe ways. In October, we painted pumpkins, which were used to decorate Kings Highway during the fall. And in December, we painted holiday ornaments for the Brandywine Senior Living Center. Projects spanning the past two years have been continued as well, such as fundraising for the Poppy Project, which will hopefully occur soon, as well as the strengthening of our group's connection with the Markheim Arts Center. As the year comes to a close, we look forward to our Arts in the Courtyard celebration and senior show, which will occur concurrently. And this will be the first full in-person school-wide event to occur since last March. With the funds from Arts in the Courtyard, NAHS will be able to continue its efforts for the next year. Collectively, over 500 hours were spent on community service, and I would like to take a moment to recognize the members here and for their, and for their efforts. So first we have Luca Caruso. Thank you. Next we have Lamia Lopez. Thank you. And finally we have Catherine Scully. Thank you. Katie Brubaker.
want to really congratulate them um, and just the level of invention that they exhibited. Um, they've been able to create community service opportunities and events that are safe for all of us to partake in. Um, we wouldn't have been able to run this organization without them. They're positive, forward thinkers. Um, I have purchased these for 
for our officers this year. Um, something new, I just felt like that the, um, they deserved something extra special. And in lieu of a hug, I would like to play this. <laughs> On all of our officers, as an extra thank you. 